Well, okay, after killing Xanathar, I decided I'll reload the game, and obviously it's before I killed Xanathar. So now I'm going to go and explore an area that I, I sort of bumped into before when uh, the save game got corrupted, so I'm going to go in and then I'm going to do that. Um, and it's just basically around here, somewhere. Oh, I can't get in there now. <coughs> There we go. This is more like it. So yeah, it's just a case of, well, having these areas. One key for one gem. So you put a gem in, press a button, get a key. Put a gem in, press a button, get a key. It's a very straightforward system of of key gem conversion. Oh. And yeah, you you basically just come make a lot of keys for yourself. <laughs> it is written the key lies on the other side. Ooh spooky or or, or not. And up we go. No one is able to pry the door open. A mounting device. I'm guessing this is the whole... Put that in there. Now the great thing is, if you look here, one gem for one key. So you put a key in here, like this useless key there, it becomes a gem. So, yeah, the whole kind of conversion ratio is pretty good. And then you end up with a weird ruby key. Bit bizarre, really. Um, let's... Let's go up these stairs. So this is kind of like a branch. I mean, you, you can then bypass a certain degree of portal use by going this way. Um, what's this? What? One battle for glory. Slicey. Stupid undead. Getting confused. It's spun around, way. Cut them down. Which was pretty straightforward. One sacrifice made. You mean like putting something we don't need in here? Like these endless healing potions? Yeah, I can dig that. Um. This leads to a pit. Ring. One leap of faith. I don't like the idea of that. This is probably a featherfall ring. So, Starlight can wear it. Well, we jumped into it. One's faith repaid. Cleric Scroll of Ray's Dead, another one. Extra healing. Teleport. And now we're back to one gem for one key. Okay, so we'll go up the other way now. And this should lead us to this big hallway where we have to fight a shed load of these ancient skeletal things. So we're sealed in now. Fight for your freedom. So one of these lightning bolt spells. Oh, that's the wand of Silvus. That's not going to be much good in this particular situation. Oh. Get some arrows. Not that we really need them, but... Yeah. 
got you in a good situation to zap. More keys. And some banded armor. Someone else got some magical banded armor. Ooh, where's your armor, mate? Well, oh, I think I was rearranging it so that when we transfer the characters to the next game, the four characters we transfer, because that is the limit, it's four characters. Um, oh god. have, like, the good stuff, you know, all the good equipment. We've got another key, which we're starting to really build upon the old keys. We don't need all these holy symbols, do we? Mage Scroll of Fear. Well, this might actually be one of those ones where I'm really happy that we've come this way, because now I've got a Fear Scroll. And But I unfortunately still don't have... There we go. So yeah, you end up getting a hell of a lot of keys. As you can see, I'm now really overflowing with keys. I don't think the skull key is particularly useful right now. Um, primarily, or entirely, oh my goodness. Primarily or entirely, because um, I think we're, we're not going to be going back. I mean, I've killed Xanthar. I can't actually kill him and, you know, take the, the characters that killed him with it, because it doesn't save the game when you kill Xanathar. See, when this was originally developed, they didn't, um, they didn't think it through, perhaps, or they didn't intend you to be able to carry your characters over. And then when they were developing either Behold or 2, they were uh, thinking, hang on a second, that sounds like a good idea, why don't we make it so that we can, you know, carry the characters through? So they did. And there was much rejoicing. I like Lightning Bolt. I do like Lightning Bolt. Right. Um, I don't actually now know the way to get out. Because I thought, once you'd sort of killed everything... Ah, of course. And we end up in a very familiar place, the portal room. So that's kind of the way it goes around. It's a bit strange. But then we do have keys that are capable of opening this. Is it the ruby key? I think it is, you know. There we go. So now we get into here, which, well, I don't think it's massively interesting around here, but, oh, we've got a portal. Oh, I remember this. 
Basically, you have three doors, three levers. You pull a lever, it opens the door, and all the other levers are disabled. So you can either have a weapon, an armor, or a magic. And I decide I'm running this party. I'm, I'm sort of like, you know, the guy. So I'm going to get this, and we end up with a ring. And I'm going to wear the ring myself, because I do know what the ring is. I'm going to go through this teleporter, and we're back here. So that's pretty much that way round, if you follow me. That's that's the way to go. Finally, do we have an orb? Yes, we do. I'm going to identify all of our magic items, and then I'm going to save it and see if we can transfer these characters over. And like I said uh, in the last episode, the, the true last episode, um you know, I'm going to give it a bit of a break and then yeah, we can crack on and, and kick some ass really. I don't know why I'm feeding us, I mean. Okay, so Vlas. Well, this is the end of the road, so to be honest there's very little point in you carrying all that stuff. So if we can find any space for anything else we will Wolfen, you can carry that. Durham, does he have anything we want to take with us to the next sort of level? So the next, first thing I should really do. Oh, cure serious. I didn't actually mean to cast that. There we go. Right, Wolfen, detect magic. At a glance, we can see what's good. So, the Ring of Adornment, we're not taking it with us. We are going to take that sword with us, because at the end of the day it's a, it's a bloody sword, it's a good sword. We've got that mace, we've got that. I'm carrying all that stuff. Ring, not particularly useful. He's got a magical feather fall ring. No, he's not. Because Dorum, sorry, but you're not going to be joining our little adventures in the future. Now, is banded armor better than chain armor? I suspect it probably is. Yep, it is. So, Starlight gets that. She's got the Look Stone. And the Ring of Dawn that we don't need. We've got the Cursed Plate Mail, which we don't really care about. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to give Starlight this flail. And what does this guy have? I think that's pretty much everything. Okay, I think that everything he's got is unneeded. Kogar's not got anything that we need either. Get the drow boots. Blast, you wear them. Start. You can have some boots, but apart from that, I think that's pretty much it. We've we've got everything. We're holding on to everything that we need. Um, we've got some. Well, we don't need that non-magical scepter of kingly might. I still don't really know what that does. Some rocks, halberd, a key. The keys will all disappear, of course. Holy symbols of various kinds, and yeah, that's pretty much it, really. I don't think we need anything else. The only thing I will say... Yep, we put even better armour on our cleric. I've still got crappy robe, but yeah. I think that's pretty much what we're going to have. One last thing. I will give you the Bovalas. Um, just because then we've got a bow that's uh, being brought with us. It's not actually going to be a very quick way of getting them out, is it? Oh, this is going to be boring. But yeah, this is basically it, boys and girls. I'm going to... Uh, this little final episode will be it for a while. Then I will get on with 
I have a beholder too, but I'm going to pick something else in the meantime. Not necessarily a retro game, um, but certainly something just, you know, for a few... I mean, this wasn't actually going to <laughs> go on too long, but it has, mainly because of the problems with the corruption and all that, and the dodgy save games. Um, okay, there we go, job done. That is our adventuring party. I'm going to save them, and um, we'll bid you all farewell again. So, um, I'm a bit of a break from either beholder, and then I will get it sorted and get it tackled and, and bring it back um, later on with either beholder too, and take this party with me. So, uh, until next time, cheerio.